Hi guys, it's Tina Gell here, and I just spent an incredible three days with Scrapbook and Cards today at their Fall Crop and Create Delivered event. So I believe this is the sixth one that I have done. I've done all of the paper crafting and all of the holiday one until this year. And I have not done any of the card making. I'm not a card maker unless it's like these right here that I'm going to share with you. So I have a few videos that I'm going to put up. I'm going to break it up by day and show you what I created. I didn't do an unboxing this year um, of all of the product that we got, but I'm going to show you what I created each day. And then I'll show you kind of what we have left over. But you get a ton of products. Whenever you open your box, there's always a card for that for that particular event. So this is the one for Fall 22. Creativity itself doesn't care at all about results. The only thing it craves is the process. And that's all I was craving this year was just some downtime away from school, away from work, to enjoy creating because I just don't get too much anymore. So these are the instructors and the sponsors. We have wonderful, wonderful sponsors that give us um, goodies in our box and everything. So this year, Paige Evans, Victoria Calvin, Becky Adams, Doodlebug Design, Simple Stories. Um, the teachers were Vicki Booten, Megan Andrew, Paige Evans, Jana Eubank. And it seems like somebody is not on here. I don't know. I guess that was it. And then they have um, a special guest speaker like at noontime. So Kathy Z was on there. Maybe that's who I'm thinking that they're missing. I don't know. But that's who was teaching. This is the book that you get. It's a beautiful spiral bound. It has always a welcome letter from Catherine. And then it goes into the four main classes that they teach. And it gives us all of the instructions so that we can create on our own or whatever and this year the little mini classes that they did they actually did pdfs and all of that so that we could print them off and i always keep everything within my book and box it away so if there's any projects i don't get to then it's all together for me this year i think i completed everything that i'm going to complete as far as their instructions go i have a lot of product left which i'll get into that in a minute okay so the first thing that we started off with, Friday was always just kind of a bonus day, and it used to be infomercials from different sponsors, but this year it was full on, let's get creative. So all of this is from Fridays, and we started off with this shadow box kit from Doodlebug, and I had seen these, but wasn't really familiar with what it was or anything, but they do one for each collection, and it's just their sticker sheet and their little... Um, epoxy stickers and gems one or the other in their kits but they give you this they give you a little template piece of vellum so this is the vellum you just tape it right on top of this and then you just start putting your speaker your speakers your stickers on and then I've matted this on an 8x8 sheet of white paper and it goes inside of a shadow box I have a little black frame but I'm gonna go shopping and see if I can find a shadow box because I'm hooked this was a great introduction to the weekend you didn't have to really think about it you could just get your creative juices flowing so it was exactly what I needed to get going for the weekend but I just love how that turned out and it's so cute within a frame so I'm definitely going to be um, getting some more of those. I'm going to go through my stash because I think I probably have sticker sheets and stuff that I could do some on my own. So that was it. This is what we had left over. So these are the additional stickers from the sticker sheet. The flowers, which I've, I'd realized I probably would have used more of these than the gems because I'm not really a sparkly gem kind of person. But So that's what we had left. So I have some product to play with. Then Jana Eubanks from Simple Stories did their card kit, which she's done this a couple of times, I think. And I just love these. It's, it's where you just punch it all out and you put it together. It's quick. It's easy. You don't have to stop and think about it. So these are all the die cuts that we have left. So lots to do. Tags, more cards, whatever you want to do. So I have not put mine on card bases because I am contemplating doing a banner with them. I don't, I don't know. Or either... I think what I'm going to do is a recipe book, and I'm just going to use these within it. So I'll use one of the flip books and put holiday recipes in it. I don't know. I just think they're adorable. So they have little thin chipboard pieces, so I love that. So you can actually still mail these. Are these not just adorable? I love the gingerbread and the whole baking theme. So this is all 
from the Baking Spirits Bright collection. So if you like the collection, go grab all of it. Okay, so we did eight cards, home decor piece. Have die cuts left over from that. Then um, there was a presentation from scrapbook.com just showing all of their um, new products. This class is the only class that I did not do. This is Jess Forster's. Um, she does pocket pages, so we always get two pocket pages. And she geared this class around um, documenting your creativity. What I love about Jess's class is all of her ideas and inspiration about storytelling. So she always gives you prompts to kind of get you thinking, but she also gives you prompts as to what you might photograph if you want photographs on the layout and you're not just doing journaling. So I am going to do this but I'm gonna do it in a traditional 12 by 12 or eight and a half by 11. You're gonna see I converted a lot of the layouts to eight and a half by 11. So we got the foam thickers, and then we got two of the cut apart sheets. So the four by six, and then the two by two with four by four elements and then the backs. So I have more of this collection from the scrap room kits and some that I just picked up on my own. So again, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna use her story prompts and everything, just not in pocket pages. Okay, then I'm getting kind of out of order. Um, we always get what's called an attendee kit. And that is usually, every time I've done it, Virginia Nebel has put it together. And she is the queen of getting lots of collections. I think this had like six different collections represented. I'm not sure how many, but a lot. And then she puts them together into layouts. Well, this time she taught the layouts in class and I love them. So this was one of them. And again, I converted this one to an eight and a half by 11. Um, I think this might have been a double page. I can't remember or just a 12 by 12. But it was the same basic design. It had the borders and a, just the wood grain here. I just kind of shrunk it all down, which meant my title and my little embellishments went together. Um, my embellishments are a little bit different. My husband's very particular about what goes on layouts. And I kind of felt like I was pushing it, putting the pine cones on there because he'll he will tell me well, there's not pine cones there, there's no trees, which there's not here. But I told him I said, don't say a word because there's trees back here, so it needed something and it's going on there. Um, so yeah, I did that one. Love it. He's he's thrilled with this layout. Um, he always encourages me, but he loves that layout. This was another one that we did, and this one is a 12 by 12. Um, I believe the design is probably exactly as far as the paper is exactly like hers, except for I did different embellishing. And so this is just my cat and my daughter's cat, which they're brothers, when she babysit one day, so, or one weekend while we went to visit my son. Then there was this double page, which this one, is basic. I kept this one 12 by 12 as well. Let's see if I can get it all in there. Um, this one's basically, again, as far as the paper goes, is what she had. I changed up photo sizes and I, it has more photos. Like, I don't believe she had anything right here. So then the embellishments kind of moved around as well. And I chose different embellishments. This is my daughter and I at Pinner's Conference. We've been trying to go for years. So we went down to Fort Worth this last month or actually it was the end of september beginning of october and her birthday is the fourth of october so this was her birthday trip to texas and we had a blast it will not be our last pinners conference so i just threw in things that had to do with pinners they do baking home decor crafts i mean it's a little bit of everything and these are some of the products that we had left over. So you can kind of see all the different um, brands. This is Bow Bunny Beautiful Things. This is the sticker sheet. Ended up only using one. I didn't really care for the colors with the projects that I ended up doing. We got a package of thickers, which again, didn't use. I have a really hard time when they're all different colors. These are the bigger pieces of paper that are left. Um, I did have quite a few smaller pieces that are in my scrap bin. Love the gnomes. Sticker sheets, which almost wiped that one out. I can probably do one more layout, which I do have paper cut to make one more layout, so that may go on it. So you can see there was um, Bow Bunny, 
photo play paper, which this one is a Christmas collection, camping collection, a fall collection. We have the sticker sheet from the camping collection. And then I had a few big pieces. That's the camping, another Christmas paper, which I want to I want to do another layout with all of this. So I'm going to keep all of this together. The papers and stuff. So that was the first day, Friday, which is a warm-up day. That's how incredible this weekend is. So they do have registration open right now for the next year's event. So fall, spring, card making, holiday, all of those events are opened. So that's my wrap up for day one, Friday. And I will be back with video number two, sharing what we did on Saturday. I hope you enjoyed this. Love to hear your comments, your feedback, if you enjoy kind of seeing this um, or what else you'd kind of like to see. I'm trying to get a few more videos put up on my YouTube. I know I've been missing, but um, I'm getting close to finishing school. I have 16 hours after I finish this semester, so I'm getting really close. So I'm hoping life will return. So thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you maybe tomorrow or the next day for day Saturday, day two on Saturday of the Crop and Create Fall 22 event. Bye-bye.